All right, so in our last QGIS video, we went through some basic terrain analysis. Um, today, I want to use some of those things we created in order to make a 3D map. So first, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to the browser, and I'm going to add some data from last time. And what I will add, let's go to the temp folder. And we have, I think we're in Temple Fork Streams here. So we have a DEM and a Hillshade. So let's go ahead and add those in. We've got the DEM, we've got the hill shade. Perfect. So I'll go back into my layers. I'm just going to swap the order here. And like last time, if you don't have these layers, you can go to the previous video about terrain analysis to generate them. Um, and I'm going to just symbolize this DEM a little differently. So I'll come down to my symbology, and I want to do single band pseudo color. And I'm going to select my custom elevation that I created. And you can check out the video on creating custom color ramps as well. Um, okay, so I've got that. And then I want to go to my transparency. Click apply here first. That changed. And transparency, I'm going to drop this down. We'll, we'll just type it in here. We'll drop it down to 60%. And my, I guess it's global opacity. And we'll click apply. And we'll click OK. So you can see that gives us a pretty good view there of, of how that looks. Okay. So now to create a 3D view, we're simply going to go to View and do a new 3D map view. QGIS makes this so simple. Um, it's going to take a second for that to load up. But once it does, there it is. Oops. Sorry, just pull that out and uh, resize it a little bit. Move that into the center, like that, and then zoom full. That'll work for now. Okay, so there's our map. And now to make this 3D, we just need to go to Settings and select an elevation layer, which is going to be our DEM. The hill shade only contains brightness values. The, TE, the DEM contains elevation values. So I'm just going to select that. And then I'll click OK. All right, you can see that it's changed this. So now the way you can rotate this is with your your wheel. So the wheel on your mouse, press down on it. So don't scroll, press down on it. And you can drag your mouse to adjust that view. And so you can scroll to adjust the zoom level. Okay, so there you can see I have this 3D map. You can see when I do this that I get a little bit of a seam separation there as I do it. And you can see that you can't see the topography super well. It's there, but I might want to change things a little bit. So we can come back and we can adjust these settings a little. So I'm going to come into my settings. And I'm going to make this vertical scale, uh, we'll say 1.5. And I can do my tile resolution. And let's make this down to like, we'll just take it down to 4 and see what happens. And our map tile resolution, let's take that down to... But we'll just leave that the same and we'll click OK and we'll see what that does. And you can see right away that it causes some more errors and some more separation on that, right? Okay, so let's go back into our settings. And let's change this tile resolution. Um, let's change it to 512, just like that other one. And let's click OK and let's see what happens here. Okay, now maybe I just slowed this down a lot by making it too big. Yes, yeah, so you can see it's going really slow now. We can pan it. All right. So let's go back to our settings and adjust that before we're in too much trouble. So it was at 16. Let's just take it up to 64. So that's four times. Now we'll click OK. All right. Now let's see what happens. So you notice that those uh, tiles on the edges got a lot smaller. And now you can see when I do this, I don't get that same seam separation, so it's a lot cleaner. I can zoom in and out. There we go. All right. So there you go. You have this 3D map here. And I'll show you real quick another cool thing you can do with this. So you can actually add imagery over the top of this to give your imagery that topographic effect. So I'm going to come into um, my browser here. I'm going to go to the top. Close that down. So I've added some 
uh, Google imagery in my uh, XYZ tiles here. And I have a video on that that you can take a look at. I'll include links to all these videos uh, in the description so you can go find them. And I'm going to add in my Google Hybrid. So we're going to just drag that in. Check out my layers here. Oh, drag it into the wrong thing. So let's just drag, drag it in over here to that main data frame. And it's adding it in right now. Okay, so there it is. Now we've got that imagery added. And you can see, it's going to take just a second to load it up here. We've got some progress going on. Um, so that's it added in that imagery. Uh, and you can see that tile goes, you get some confusion with those tiles. We can come in here and we'll just turn this DEM off so we don't have as much data loaded in there. And you can see that I can overlay that Google imagery right on top of my DEM and get that really cool topographic imagery effect that you can see in Google Earth. Um, so, pretty simple to create a 3D map in QGIS. And let's just do one more thing here. Let's go into our browser, and I have these streams. So let's add in my streams on here so we can see those streams. So I'll drag that in, and we want to drag it onto this main map and not the 3D view. So those streams appeared. Let's go into my layers, and we'll adjust the symbology so that it's a little more visible. And we'll just change this line. Let's bump up the thickness and change this to a stream-looking color, something blue, and click OK there. Okay, now you can see that I've added these streams onto my map. Okay, so there you go. So, really simple to create a 3D map in QGIS, and I think it ends up looking pretty good. Um, so if you ever wondered how to do it, that's how you do it. And what I'll do now, um, I guess, so we're going to end this video here, but next time what we'll do is we'll go through how you can animate this. So you can actually make a video from this 3D map uh, that mirrors your zoom. So you can like zoom in, travel up a stream, turn, travel up this canyon, turn around, lie on top of the peak, and then adjust your view to look over what's below you. So you can make a video that does that, um, and we'll do that in the next video. So if you're interested in that, click subscribe so you see when it comes out. Uh, it's probably going to be a week from when this one comes out. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have suggestions for things you want to see done in QGIS or questions you have, please let me know, and I will try to get to them.